Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 1st of September 2011, and we continue to watch Typhoon Nogi here, or Typhoon Quill. Actually, was a super typhoon for a brief period of time prior to landfall that took place at approximately 9 a.m. Philippine Standard Time this morning. We're about 01 Zulu for those of you who are worldwide watching this storm, and it did make landfall with about sustained winds of 130 knots uh, as it moved on shore just north of Casagoran out here. Currently, moving off towards the west though decreasing intensity as it's moving over the Sierra Madre mountains but still bringing very heavy rainfall across Luzon here. But weakening is definitely a relative term as this storm is still packing winds upwards of 90 gusting up to 130 knots but this is just showing the storm just prior to landfall was a super typhoon Nogi here just moving on shore north of Castagoran also north of Isabella here right around the Sierra Madre mountain ranges and noting those core winds right near the center of those systems. That's where those storm surges are going to be actually up here on the northern periphery of the storm, the right front quadrant, the most dangerous part of the storm. So would not be surprised if we see a lot of damage coming out of this area just south of Apari as the storm moved on shore. As for now though, still have not seen any reports of injuries or deaths out here across Luzon, which is good news, but would not be surprised if we do start getting some more information out here as the storm moves across and starts to clear out out here across the Philippines today. As much of the area already is saturated, Saturated right now from our most recent typhoon typhoon nest set so this area is already saturated that water doesn't have anywhere to run and then flooding out here is going to be very bad as the forecast continues to place over about 300 millimeters of rainfall in a lot of locations out here in the Sierra Madre mountains so as the storm does track off towards the west all that rainfall is going to run down in those watershed areas and we're going to see that high flooding risk but in the long range here where's the storm going to go a lot of people are worried about it out heading out here probably towards Hong Kong looks like it's going to remain south of Hong Kong as it tracks out through the South China Sea along the southern periphery of that subtropical ridge up here towards the north that's really been the main driving influence before moving out here towards Vietnam and Indochina where we all know they do not need any more rainfall out there well but here looking at the model outlook noting that in the long range here there is a wide disparity in the exact location where this will make landfall over Vietnam all of them are in fair agreement that it is going to head directly off here toward west, though not expecting a recurvature due to that high pressure up towards the north. Should remain south of Hong Kong, but Vietnam, the exact location where you're going to see this storm make landfall, still not certain as far as the model outlook. I would expect it to be south of Hanoi here, likely south of Hanoi as well over here in Indochina. But here, check this out. This is a graphic from the total precipitable water across out here in the western Pacific. And it kind of shows you where the exact location of all this moisture is coming from, from the equatorial regions here being pumped into this system and that's why it has so much moisture in the middle of it and also one of the main reasons why we saw a rapid watch a storm here at westernpacificweather.com likely going to see a gradual decrease in intensity as it moves across the Philippines due to that land interaction squeezing all that moisture out like a sponge bad news though that's on and cause a lot of flooding Meanwhile, out here in the Western Pacific, though, we still have Typhoon Nessat moving on shore over Vietnam. Actually, a tropical storm now, but still packing some very heavy rainfall out there in Indochina. So we'll have a complete update on that system as well later on today. And also a no more complete update on the effects and the outcome of Typhoon Nogi or Typhoon Quill out here as it moves across Luzon. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as usual, please post them in the comment box below. And stay safe out there, everyone. One, this storm is very strong. If you are being advised to evacuate or take shelter, please do so as a lot of areas out here are in Storm Signal Force 3 put out by Vagasa. In other words, if you are under any of those signal forces, please stay inside and stay away from any windows. A lot of flying debris can be a major source of injury out here besides the high potential of flooding. So stay safe out there, everyone, and have a good day.